Welcome back everyone to the lesson of uh, programming for bars and trusses using the finite element method. In the previous uh, video, we uh, introduced how to use uh, maxima uh, or for that matter any other symbolic manipulator to derive the finite element equation of a bar element. Uh, in this video, we will go further and use the same technique we used before to introduce how to increase the order of the element. If you are still a, uh, a beginner in the finite element method, uh, probably this is not uh, an interesting topic for you right now. However, you will uh, find that it is not really uh, of any further sophistication. It's just a small change in the manipulation of the uh, interpolation function and the element equation. And it can be used uh, successfully to introduce higher accuracy into the finite element model without a lot of complications to a certain level. Uh, uh, later, we will find out that the P method here, which uh, refers to increasing the polynomial order of the element, have uh, some limitations due to uh, the matrix inversion involved in it. Now, if we uh, get back to our finite element of a bar uh, and introduce an extra node inside it into the center, for example. Uh, actually, it can be at any point, but usually putting an extra node into the element will better be uh, put into uh, the middle uh, or the center of the element. So now we have three nodes in this element, each of which have a value for the displacement. Now we have three values for the displacement which need to be interpolated. That's why we will use a second order polynomial uh, which has three terms, one x and x squared. From this point on, everything will be just a repetition of the previous work. Uh, for example, if we go now to uh, maxima, Here, uh, we'll just delete this uh, and uh, uh, start writing uh, H, uh, the interpolation function is defined as a matrix uh, of uh, uh, 1, comma, x, comma, x squared. Okay, uh, now uh, we have this three term. Uh, uh, row vector. Following that, we repeat also uh, differentiating of h of x with respect to x. There you are. Uh, now we start by saying x uh, is 0 uh, and let's define tm1 is e uh, is h uh, numerical here we need to add the semicolon okay then uh, x l over 2 uh, tm1 uh, sorry tm2 h numerical okay then finally uh, x l or h is defined as uh, sorry t m3 defined as h comma uh, of course if you find this too boring uh, you can uh, jump to uh, downloading the code from uh, GitHub. Uh, you'll find the link below the, the video in the website. Uh, then you can read or go through and play around with the program right away. However, if you're interested in the step-by-step -step, uh, work of the uh, video, you can um, stay with, uh, with me for a while. Uh, then we will kill X. Uh, and finally, 
uh, here uh, C M is defined as matrix of uh, C M one one from C M two two uh, sorry one comma C M three one here is the matrix. Then we get the inverse. It was invert T M. There you are. Uh, the final step will be to evaluate uh, the K matrix. K element is integrate. Um, Pose of H X dot H X comma X comma zero comma L. Now, uh, of course, you expect this not to work. Here you are. Now, to get it properly, you will need to multiply the transpose of T1 from uh, the left, and then this needs to be dot T1 on the right. Now, you really have the matrix you are interested in. Sorry. We are missing A transpose. Okay, there you are. Uh, this is uh, the stiffness matrix for a three node element. You can, of course, multiply by E times uh, A times all this, uh, or uh, just remove the E and A. Uh, and maybe multiply by three uh, and L. There you are, seven, eight, one, minus eight, sixteen, minus eight, one, minus eight, seven, which is the stiffness matrix you will uh, get when working with. Uh, 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 the uh, three node bar M. Now, uh, what have we done in the previous uh, uh, few uh, elements, a uh, few uh, videos in this lesson? We were uh, able to derive the element matrices using a symbolic manipulator. Uh, I'll, uh, there will be a, a video, it was uh, um, actually recorded earlier. I'll uh, put it uh, in this uh, on the page for this lesson, uh, it also shows how can we program uh, the uh, finite element model for um, a, a bar using octave, knowing the equations of the uh, bar from maxima or uh, by integration by hands or whatever. The following video. Uh, will work with trusses. We will see how a bar element can be used in a more sophisticated structure that's called a truss, and what are the new problems that are introduced by trusses, how are we going to uh, work with them, and so on and so forth. See you then.